It's February 13th. Emmanuel Kusi Danso Atta Jr., known to the world as Kusi Atta, shares a photo of him holding his freshly cut dreadlocks. Many are shocked. Almost everyone was in his comment section, from Ghanaian rapper Manifest to UK rap act Miss Banks. Maybe it's a sign of a fresh start. Maybe the son of Jacob is flipping to a new page in his ever evolving career. Then a 2 minutes 42 seconds record premieres on March 3, where Quisi raps. My big homies tend to be homies. What be next? He's cussing his longtime collaborator, Big Homie Flea. He continues with Anofi Duel on Regrets, F a Rewind, insinuating there's no going back on his decision. Social media timelines exploded with reactions, and social media investigators got to work piecing things together to figure out what actually happened at Ground Up. Today, Kusi Atta and Big Homie Flea, Stana and Wayne with the same ending. In this episode, music for the soul, pain, soul searching, living your truth and taking the road less traveled. This is the story of Kusi Atta's rise. I'm Ishak Abdullahi and this is Fishing for Fame. Five days after Kwesi's pain song premiered and some lines were directed at him, Flea the God Body tried to explain what was happening, saying, Last time we had a heart to heart, you told me you felt lonely, and I empathized and felt your pain, but that's how the game go. You was the one, the chosen one. It's really lonely at the top. Breaks my heart you let these mere mortals trick you out of your spot. He also followed up with, we broke records and generational curses together. We made memories. I'm going to cherish forever. Not here to play no blame game. I accept everything for what it is and charge it to the game. I guess nothing lasts forever. When the two started seven years ago, Flea the God Body believed they were Stana and Wayne with a better ending. But here we are. And it's not a bad thing to be honest. Because as people grow, their perspectives about life changes, their outlook on life becomes different, and people grow apart or outgrow each other. And it's very possible for two people to be on the same journey but not use the same path to the place they are going. When two wetsmith wander in close proximity, letters combining to become words. Words gathering to become sentences, and sentences becoming bars. Usually, it's because they enjoy each other's company, or connect on unique stories, or maybe they are on the same wavelength, sharing the same dream and belonging to the same team. Like Cupid, punching holes into hearts with the verses and bars, and fighting the whole world for the same win. Chrissy Atta and Big Homie Flea were a match made in the musical heavens. Chrissy Atta brought the stories from the streets. A wordsmith, strong storyteller, true representative of the great port city of Tema. The complimentary introductions Big Homie Flea brought to Chrissy Atta's craft was remarkable. It's always expected in some shape or form. And when they finally come on, fans always loved them. Quisi and Big Homie Flea were a match made in musical heavens for the downtrodden because the two mostly connected when some ginger was needed. The two were introduced to us on Grind Day. Then Big Homie Flea delivered an introduction on Black Sheriff's second sermon. Then Quisi's life from 233. While Chrissy was putting his stories from growing up in Tema on Wask, Big Homie was in Brooklyn, New York, spreading the gospel in the neighborhoods, online, at events, and everyone who agreed to give him a listening ear. For many, he's more than a culture enthusiast. They believe he has reached a point where he's become an evangelist for Ghana's music. But satisfied? Not even close. Over the years, 
The two young men have proved getting there wasn't enough. For the two young men who are well acquainted with hardship, the default solution has always been to find answers. For the two talents with commanding voices and words that complement each other, coming close to the goal was never the goal. Kwesi uses music to tell his powerful rags to riches story, creating positivity and light from the early years of struggle and adversity he persevered through to get to where he is today. Singing on the Kofi Moli Assisted Record, the now BET Awards nominee, revealed, I just want to touch Nirvana. It seems so far sometimes, but Nirvana man could find. The rapper recounting his formative years in Tema told The Delay Show in 2018. I grew up in several places in Tema. We used to live in Community 2. Then we moved to my mom's kiosk in Community 5. She had a salon. So after she closes, we packed the things and slept on the floor. At a point, we moved to a shaman, then Sakumono, before finally moving back to Community 9 to live with my grandmother. Realizing his parents could not settle the arrears he owed at Tema school for the school to release his results for him to further his education, he decided to learn music production. I spoke to the owner of Cell C Studios to allow me clean the studio so he could teach me how to record music, and he agreed. It took me about a week to understand things, and I began recording people. After learning how to record in 2013, the Don't Keep Me Waiting Kruna had to patiently wait for four years to land his breakthrough record called Grind Day. His first EP, Live from Nkrumah Krum, released in June 2017, had a huge impact on Ghana. In June 2018, Kwesi Atta became the youngest Ghanaian artist to be nominated for a BET award. As he continues to rise with each body of work, the rapper born Emmanuel Kwesi Danso Atta doesn't know why he resonates so much with fans around the world. Maybe they connect with my story, my struggle. Many people aren't employed, and in the period I struggled, I was making songs about it. From cleaning studios to sleeping in a kiosk, he never shies away from sharing his struggles. While all these drama continue to roll out, Flea has assured Kwesi that no love is lost between the two. He tweeted, No love lost, son. Still go bump your old songs. We still the baby goats in my eyes. They know who really came and changed this industry. We birthed this new entire generation. It was good while it lasted. Used to say we're going to be stunner and win with a better ending. But here we are. The end. If you enjoyed this episode, then kindly share, like, comment, and rate the show wherever you listen to your favorite podcast. I'm Ishak Abdullahi, and this was Fishing for Fame. Thank you very much for pressing play.